Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum. Today we'll be looking at the ulna and the radial bone. We'll be looking at the ulna and the radial bone. So looking at the ulna and the radial, this is their anatomical position. This is the way these two bones are positioned in the forearm. So the ulna, this is the ulna. The ulna lie medially and the radial lie laterally. So the ulna and the radial bone are defined as the two bones of the forearm that is situated between the elbow and the wrist. So this is the elbow, elbow joint. It is situated between the elbow and the wrist. And the type of bone that they are, they are long bone. Just like the humerus is also a long bone. They are long bones. So the ulna helps to, you can see that the ulna helps to form the elbow joint. So for you to be able to flex your forearm at the level of the elbow, the ulna helps to do that together with the distal part of the humerus or together with the true clear part of the humerus. So you can see it. That is what the ulna does. Then for the radius, the radius help in the pronation and supination of the forearm. So you see the pronation and supination of the forearm. This is what the radius does. So you see that these two bones are very important in the upper limb. So we'll be looking at the specific features that can be found in these two bones. We'll be looking at the ulna first, then we'll come over to the radius. I forgot to tell us that the radius also help to form the wrist joint or the radiocapar joint. The radius help to form the wrist joint. So, so you can see the distal part of the radius connecting with the capar bone to form the wrist joint or the radiocapar joint. So we'll be looking at the specific fissures now. So coming to the specific fissures that can be found in the ulnar bone and the radial bone, we'll be dividing these bones into three parts. First of all is this part here. This part is known as the proximal part of the ulna and radius. Then here is known as the body. And here is known as the distal part, the proximal part, the body, and the distal part. So we'll be looking at the ulna first. Coming to the proximal part of the ulna, you see this protrusion here. This outward protrusion or curved protrusion here is known as the olecranon process of the ulna. So this olecranon process finds its way into the olecranon fossa of the humerus during the extension of the elbow joint. Then we have another outward protrusion here and this is known as the coronoid process. This is known as the coronoid process. So when you flex the elbow, this coronoid process finds its way into the coronoid fossa of the humerus and also this depression here is known as the true clear notch this depression here is known as the true clear notch so the true clear of the humerus articulates with the true clear notch of the ulna so together all these form the elbow joint together both the olecranon process the coronary process and the true clear notch forms the elbow joint then having seen that if you come over here you see this depression here this shallow depression here this is known as the radial notch it is known as the radial notch and it is called the radial notch because the head of the radius articulates here to form the radio ulnar joint so this is the head of the radius here you see how it articulates to form the radio ulna joint. So this is it. So having seen this, when you come over here, you see a protrusion here. 
This protrusion is known as the ulnar tuberosity. So these are the fissures in the proximal part of the ulna. So coming over to the shaft or the body of the ulna, this surface is known as the anterior surface because this is the part that faces anteriorly. So it's known as the anterior surface. Then this part is known as the medial surface of the ulna. And this is the posterior surface. This is the posterior surface that face posteriorly. Anterior surface, medial surface, and posterior surface. Then, in between the anterior surface and the medial surface, you see the anterior border here. You see the anterior border. In between the anterior surface and the medial surface, you see the anterior border here. Then, in between the medial surface and the posterior surface, you also see the posterior border here. So this is the posterior border. Then, this part on the lateral side is the interosseous border. This interosseous border is where the interosseous membrane lies. So this is where the interosseous membrane lies. So the interosseous border of the radius and the interosseous border of the ulna are facing each other. And the interosseous membrane line the both of them. Then having seen this, let's go over to the distal part of the ulna. Then this is known as the head of the ulna. This is known as the head of the ulna. The head of the ulna here articulates with the ulna notch in the radius. It articulates with the ulna notch. This is the ulna notch of the radius. It articulates with it to also form the distal part of the radio ulna joint. So you can see it. This is the way it articulates to form the distal part of the radio ulna joint. So that is it. So here, this outward elongation or protrusion is known as the styroid process of the ulna. This is known as the styroid process of the ulna. So we've been able to see all the fissures in the ulna. So let's go over to the fissures in the radius. So this is the radius. This is the radius. And this is known as the radial head or the head of the radius. This is the head of the radius or the radial head. And here is the articular facet for the elbow joint. Why here is the head of the radius? And here is the neck of the radius. Here is known as the radial tuberosity. There is a protrusion here. A slight protrusion here. It is known as the radial tuberosity. So coming over to the body or the shaft. So this surface that lies anteriorly is known as the anterior surface. This is known as the anterior surface. Why this surface here is known as the lateral surface? This is known as the lateral surface. Why this surface here is known as the posterior surface? Anterior surface, lateral surface, and posterior surface. Then, we also have the interosseous border of the radius. So this is the interosseous border of the radius. This sharp protrusion here is the interosseous border of the radius. The interosseous border of the radius, like I told us, is facing the interosseous border of the ulna. So this is it. I told us that it is facing the interosseous border of the ulna and together the interosseous membrane lines both of them. So this is the way it is placed. Then having seen that, let's go over to the distal part. Now coming to the distal part, 
this depression here there is a depression here and this is known as the ulnar notch this ulnar notch gave or articulates with the head of the ulna to form the distal with the ulna joint so this is the head of the ulna articulating with the ulnar notch you see to form the distal with your ulnar joint then this is known as the styroid process of the radius so this protrusion here is known as the styroid process of the radius this is the articular facet for the wrist joint so this part of the radius articulates with the carpal bone to form the wrist joint then there is a protrusion here you can see this protrusion here this is known as the dosal tobacco this is the protrusion here it is known as the dosal tobacco so let me do a recap of what i have done so far i told us that the two bone are divided into the proximal the body or shaft and the distal parts now to the proximal part of the ulna we have the recurrent process we have the Carotenoid process and we have the trochlear notch, the radial notch. This is the radial notch. This is the ulnar tuberosity. This is the interosseous border. This is the styroid process of the ulna. This is the head of the ulna. Then coming to the radius, the head of the radius, the neck of the radius, the radial tuberosity the interruptions border the styroid process the articular facet for the wrist joint with the dosal tobacco so we've come to the end of this teaching i'll encourage us to subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow me on my social media platform both tiktok facebook learn with chisum great like this video share this video to your friends and comment on this video. Thank you very much.